um, test that was done mm -hmm. among 11 year olds mm -hmm. or first formers that's that honest. way. What, what's your take on the issue, principal of the University of mm -hmm. West Indies, mm -hmm. Campus? Well, um, I am the principal of the leading research institution um, in the country and research is absolutely fundamental. So um, uh, we have no issue with that at all. Uh, research must always be conducted in an ethical way and for that you require what is known as an ethical review board to go through every single research proposal. So every single research proposal that we would do as a university would go through our own IRB. Uh, we would be dealing with hundreds of these applications every year and um, they either require a waiver if it's completely anonymized, let's say it's just aggregated data that's completely anonymized, you might get a waiver but you have to apply for it. Um, or if it uh, um, is a sensitive topic then you know we might go into it in great detail. Um, uh, but every single piece of research that we do um, has to go through IRB. And the Prime Minister did mention that she would be setting up something similar, I'm thinking. Yes, that's right. For, that for no, we would we'd be very willing to, to support um, the Ministry of Education in, in, in setting up um, an ethical review board of their own. Um, so we have here, of course, a School of Education, and the School of Education is, it, it does a lot of research in, um, in our school system. I remember a few years ago, um, we had a PhD student who did research on violence in schools. And you know, it's a very sensitive topic. And it went through our IRB, and it would have involved partners in the Ministry of Education, because that's where the, uh, our research subjects would be. And um, you know, uh, when you're dealing with students, of course, the informed consent process means that the consent comes from an adult, uh, the responsible adult, and then assent from the student that they understand what the uh, research is about and that they willingly uh, participate. So these would be very sort of bread and butter issues um, uh, for our university and we'd be very, very pleased to um, share all of the expertise that we have um, to strengthen uh, IRBs um, uh, you know, in, in the country. Taking a step back though, would you go as far as to say that you're surprised that the ministry did not reach out to you? To um, well, that wouldn't normally be a, a standard process. If we were conducting the research in the ministry's system, then there would be an automatic interaction. Um, uh, but, but that wouldn't be a normal thing to come to the university and ask us about something like this. As it relates to what transpired, well, looking back mm, at it, what, you know... I think, you know, we would want to learn lessons, and I think uh, there's a f sort of universal belief that um, things need to be... Um, uh, done in a different way going forward and the university you know has a lot of experience in this area and you know we do believe that research is fundamental if you do not do research um, uh, on your own population you cannot depend on imported research in, in matters which are very contextual to the environment you're in you must do your own research so you can understand the issues in your population and you can make decisions based on evidence. So research is fundamental. And if I have a concern, it would be that people would shy away from um, participating in uh, surveys uh, uh, such as this. So, so I am a great believer in uh, having very strong ethical review boards um, and, and making that a very routine part of the whole research process. So we will fully support um, in any way we can. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the kind of questions that were being asked, there's, there's nothing wrong with the questions asked per se. It is, you know, that it wasn't fully, um, it, it didn't go through all the right processes. Um, you know, there are very few issues that are so taboo that you cannot research them, but one must go through the right processes, have the right informed consent, have the right consultations, um, and, and, you know, it has to be a very structured approach. Um, and, and, you know, this is governed by international norms. You know, we have strengthened our own IRB process. It now conforms to all of the international standards, and, and we'd be very happy to, to share everything that we know.